Hey everybody, what's up? This is Rich. This is a very basic Linux tutorial in the GNOME user environment using Linux Mint on how to uh, write data to an optical disk like a CD-ROM or a DVD and how to make ISOs, which is actually so simple. It's insanely simple, and I'll just show you how to do that. What I'm first going to do is put in a blank disk. Let me just load this in the tray here. And I'm waiting for the drive to spin up takes just a moment here. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, it says you have inserted a blank disk. What would you like to do? Ignore, make audio CD, or make a data CD. Make a data CD. So what happens is that it shows a blank folder, obviously, because there's the disk is blank. If you want to put anything in there, uh, let me just go to my home folder and uh, go to my videos folder, and I'll just randomly drag a, drop a file in here and then there's the file ready to be burnt. When I'm ready to burn it, I just click the button that says Write to Disk. And uh, that's basically it, so it's Write to Disk. And if I'm ready to burn it, that's what I do. Very simple. Now the ISO stuff is actually simpler than that, believe it or not, so let me just eject this disk first. Okay, and I'm going to put one in here that already has data on it. There we go. And once again I'll wait for the drive to spin up. What should happen is that it should <coughs> excuse me, mount the volume and put an icon on the desktop. Which it did, and it opened up the folder too. Okay, I have two files in here, which are happen to be two video files, but I'm not going to pay attention to this. I'm just going to close this window. All I have to do is right-click on the disk icon, and then left-click copy disk, which is... Let me just see if I can zoom in on that. Nope, can't zoom in on that. Okay. Copy disk. And then what it's going to do is it's going to say copy it to where. Right now it's going to copy it to another disk, but I don't want to do that. I want to copy it to a file image. So it's going to say file image. And it's going to show what the data size is and the write speed, so I'm just going to click write. And now it's going to ask me where to put this file. It titles it the name of the disk. And it's an ISO, which is great. I've always preferred ISOs over those Nero NRG files. Anyone who's ever used Nero Burning ROM knows exactly what I'm talking about. I can't stand those. ISOs are where it's at. So I'm going to click on the desktop, just save this directly to the desktop and hit OK. And then what it does is it says copying disk to an image. The selected disk is being copied to a disk image file. This operation may take a long time, which it won't, by the way, because it's a relatively small amount of data, depending on data size and drive speed. And as you can see, it is actually creating an ISO file right now. This is native to the operating system. This does not require any external software of any kind. I didn't have to do anything. Now granted, you can do this in Windows XP, but I don't believe you can create ISOs or any type of uh, optical drive images, as in file images, natively. You have to get external software to do that. Granted, there's lots of freeware out there for XP to do this, but when you're doing this in Linux, it's right there, and it's extremely simple to do. And when the disk image is done, that's it. I can access anything inside that ISO I want. I could burn that ISO to another optical disk, whatever I want to do. That's basically it. I know this is a really simple tutorial, and guys that use Linux all the time know how to do this, but for those of you out there that says, well, how do I do this stuff? Now you know. Take it easy.